so i have written that here also at infinity the potential is zero and at infinity there is a plus q test charge at some distance there is plus capital q the force of repulsion between them and when you are trying to bring this plus capital q near this plus a small q when you are trying to work against the force of repulsion that work done per unit charge will be known as potential here it is the work done by the unit charge or work done per unit charge is potential the symbol for potential is v the symbol for work done is w and the symbol for charge is q potential is work done per unit charge now suppose from infinity i have brought charge q1 okay and from infinity itself i have brought charge q2 so this charge so this charge will have its own potential and this charge will have its own potential because in both the cases the work done will be different because the distances are different work done per unit charge in case of q1 and work done per unit charge in case of q2 both will be different suppose v1 here is greater and v2 here is smaller suppose okay anything can happen but for now v1 is greater and v2 is smaller and if we are trying to subtract this or if we are trying to find out the difference in this potential so that difference in potential is known as potential difference the difference in potentials between two point is known as potential difference or it is also equal to the work done in moving a unit positive charge from one point to another whenever you are taking a charge from one point to another the total work done during that period will be known as potential difference in potential difference you will find the term from one point to another because we have to find the difference between two points and here you won't find any such term here it's only like that work done per unit charge work done per unit charge is potential and work done per unit charge in moving a charge from one point to another is called as potential difference